So it's a different kind of video today. I'm headed into Ocean City now. Obviously, you read the title, so you know what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a, a middle of winter, rainy, not much to do. I get a ton of questions on this topic, so I figured why not do a video? So uh, I'm just gonna drive up and down uh, Coastal Highway while I talk about it. I do want to check out the inlet too. I heard the Army Corps of Engineers is down there uh, dredging. So water's like pretty calm today. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go over a couple things. I'm going to do the pros, the cons, and uh, one that could, I guess you could categorize it as like, I don't know, like both, I guess. Like it could be a pro, it could be a con. It really depends on who you are, your uh, kind of like your headspace of where you're at. But um, I know for some it's a pro, some it's a con, so we'll go over that. Uh, I'll also go over sort of... Uh, pretty much like us moving here where we kind of lived before uh, What we do for work things like that. So it kind of uh, puts a little bit into perspective of what we do So I'll see you at the inlet in a second I would say this is like the official like dead Winter or start to the dead winter I should say uh, I think today is the last day of sea duck hunting which uh, I mean it's pretty wet out there right now I don't see the boat, but um, yeah, pretty much like hunting's over with. There's still fishing going on if you're uh, if you're uh, able to get out there. Um, there's been actually on the the wrecks and the reefs and stuff out there. There's actually really there's been reports of flounder and sea bass, which is uh, highly unusual for this time of year. Um, and they've been catching big tog too real big tog the inlet's pretty pretty dead pretty typical of winter february i would say is the the slowest time of the year down here so not not too much going on they're still doing the boardwalk uh replenishment stuff we should be finishing that up soon that's all the wood piles right there so anyway um let's see where to begin uh ashley and i uh, grew up in two different areas. Uh, I grew up in a small town in Massachusetts, and she grew up in D.C., just outside of D.C. For me, I enlisted in, into the Marine Corps, and then I got out in February of 07, and then we moved uh, to Maryland. Or I moved to Maryland. She was obviously already here. Um, but for her, she kind of lived outside of D.C., we lived outside of DC for a little while before we decided to move here. Um, for here, at the well, at the time that we moved, we were just starting to have uh, uh, kids. We had one. Our second one was just born, and oh, the Coast Guard's out there. Um, so we were we were at a point where we wanted to move. We didn't want to stay where we were at. I'm self-employed. I own a business, and she helps me with it. She does a lot of work for me uh, with the business. So it's kind of a family effort with that one. But um, yeah, we just decided that we we're gonna move move to the beach. So that's what we did. Uh, I do have to say though, the when we moved here, there was sort of a lot of where we were gonna go and what, uh, what area we wanted to move to. There's areas like um, uh, Shaol, Bishopville, Willards, Pittsville, that are on the outskirts of uh, the towns, like the big towns like Berlin, Ocean Pines, Ocean City, those towns are very quiet. You do get acreage on your property uh, and it is kind of more spread out. For us, we chose Ocean Pines because we wanted to stay away from Ocean City for due to like summer crowds and stuff like that. But we also wanted to be like where it was like sort of quiet. Uh, but we could still come into Ocean City if we wanted to, to uh, and we weren't too far away. Um, one thing that Ashley was really concerned about was if we had moved to Bishopville or somewhere else, we're so secluded that with her living you know, near the city, it could be one of those uh, shell shock things where it's like too lonely out there. Uh, we do have friends that do live out there and um, that have left uh, 
Ocean Pines where we live and to move to like Bishopville or somewhere else because they want they want more uh, privacy and acreage and all that but we also know people that left those areas to move into Ocean Pines because they hated being secluded so much they wanted to be kind of in more with the action uh, you let their kids play more with other kids in the area stuff like that so uh, with that said we, we moved to Ocean Pines it's a nice area we like it uh, there is pros and cons to it, but I'll kind of get into a little bit of that uh, later. So some of the pros for here, uh, living at the beach is pretty much, I mean, the, the biggest pro is the beach. We're right here uh, to get to the beach to go surf fish for me because I love fishing. Uh, I can get on the, leave my house and on the beach fishing in about 15 or 20 minutes. And that's with no summer traffic or anything else. It's just me, you know, getting up and going. Um, another thing is all the outdoor activities. We're really big into outdoor things. Uh, kayaking, clamming, uh, fishing, bike riding, paddle boarding, all types of stuff. Uh, it's either inshore fishing, offshore fishing, um, fishing for my kayak, a paddle board, or um, pretty much, yeah, all types of stuff like that. Um, there's always something for us to do, uh, boating around the bay, all types of things. Assateague Island is another one. Uh, we're always out there. We love it out there. It's sort of our like home away from home. Uh, kids activities and entertainment is another one. Uh, there are tons of kids activities. Everything from like mini golf to uh, movies in the park uh, that they do in Ocean Pines. Uh, they do like movies at the inlet. They have uh, ice cream. I think they call it like Sundays in the park in Ocean City. There's uh, tons of stuff for kids to do. Even not too far from us in Salisbury, there's a zoo that's for free. And the zoo is actually pretty nice and the kids love going to it. So um, there's tons of parks and playgrounds and uh, places to bike ride, things like that. So it's, uh, yeah, there's uh, tons and tons of kids activities. Um, another thing here is uh, Assateague Island, which I just said. Uh, from there, we have the state park and the federal park, part where you can drive on the beach, which we like to do. Uh, exploring over there, we ride our bikes over there, all types of stuff. So, uh, Assateague Island is definitely one of our favorite places to go. Uh, as far as that goes, affordable housing. Um, here, compared to the city, it's the housing is more affordable. Um, we noticed that during the pandemic, a lot of people were moving down here because instead of spending three, four, five thousand dollars a month in the city, they're buying houses down here and they're paying less. So that's just another thing for living here. Uh, another one is the crime rate that I do kind of have to touch on a little bit. Uh, with Ocean Pines, we have a population of about 12,000 people. Uh, of the 12,000, I believe it's. Um, 60% are full-time, 40% are part-time. Of that 60% that are full-time, a lot of them are snowbirds that leave here over the winter and go down to Florida. So uh, there's not a lot of people there. As far as Ocean City, I believe the full-time population is under 5,000. So it's not a lot of people. Over the summer, during the course of the summer, they get, uh, I believe it's like eight to 10 million people that come through here over the winter. So it's a lot of people. So if you're looking online and you see that the crime rate is really, really high for here, it's not. Uh, they're taking it as per capita, the crimes per capita. So it's the crimes per uh, like roughly 5,000 people, which shows that it's astronomically high, but it's not, it's really not. It's, um, they don't account to the visitors and the vacationers and the part-timers and all that. So uh, as far as Ocean Pines goes, we have our own police department that we pay for. Uh, it's part of our HOA fee. We also have the county sheriff and we have the state police too. Even if you move into Berlin, Berlin's another popular area. That's the same thing too. They, they have the Berlin police department, they have the county sheriffs and the state police too. So uh, it, this area is very uh, cop friendly and um, they support the police and um, the crime rate is, is pretty low here, which is always a good thing to have. Uh, another good one for this area is, uh, believe it or not, it's produce stands. We have a lot of produce stands in this area from farmers. Uh, everything, and even like shops, like gift shops too. There's always uh, produce stands or, or places to go to get fresh 
vegetables or, or different kind of things that you wouldn't find in a, a grocery store, which is always fun. And then another good thing for living here, which is why we moved here, was the schools. The school systems are really good. So uh, that was one thing that kind of piqued our interest for this area was uh, the schools and, and the kids going to school here as opposed to where we moved from where the schools weren't as good. All right, so anyway, with any area, there's also cons to living here. I'm sure everybody's kind of interested in the cons, like pretty much what, what could they be? I, I mean, you live at the beach, but yes, there are cons. One of them is grocery stores. Uh, it's kind of crazy to even think about, but where we moved from before, we had... I would say within a couple miles, we had about five different grocery stores, six, uh, all within, yeah, like a couple miles, that's it. Um, now we have two. We have Food Line and Walmart, that's it. Uh, for here, they're not really big uh, into putting in new grocery stores. We just got an Aldi, but um, that's sort of, um, I don't know if you've ever shopped there. I feel like it's kind of hit or miss sometimes, but uh, it's we don't get those big grocery stores like uh, like Wegmans or any of those because the area the population is so small so that's sort of a, a con for us uh, another one is home maintenance which down here is a huge pain uh, in Ocean Pines if uh, if you've never thought about power washing if you never power wash your house you'll get used to it in Ocean Pines there's other chemicals too that you can use to do it which makes it easier but because we live in a um, on the coast in a low-lying area, uh, we do get a lot of moisture and uh, mold and all that. So even on your cars too, um, you got to clean your cars a lot too. Uh, but home maintenance-wise, all of your appliances are not going to last nearly as long as they would if you live somewhere else. The salt air down here will destroy everything: um, cars, appliances you name it it'll destroy any metal so uh, that's always been a, a downside to living here uh, another one is seasonal jobs a lot of times in the winter the restaurants are closed hotels are closed so you got to try to find a, uh, a full-time job a lot of people down here will work two different jobs they'll have their summer job and their winter jobs so uh, yeah that's another one it's pretty tough um, traffic is another one Summer traffic, as anybody knows down here, is pretty wild. Uh, I, like I said before, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, I could be on the beach fishing if there's no traffic. Uh, there's, I think last year, I was going out with a buddy of mine on his boat. It was in uh, West Ocean City at the Commercial Harbor. And to get to the Commercial Harbor from my house should take about 20 minutes. It took me an hour and 45 minutes. Um, it's, I've, uh, even from Ocean Pines, it's what, five, six miles? into Ocean City off the 90 bridge. Um, one time during the air show, it took me an hour and a half to get in here. Another one for me is um, my personal uh, con is fishing spots. There's tons of fishing spots here. The problem is they're all pretty common knowledge. So uh, when you're trying to fish, if you want to fish from like piers and stuff like that, it can be tricky. Uh, I have my kayak, which I'm lucky to have. Uh, and my boat too, but sometimes if if um, you know time time doesn't permit to do that stuff, and I want to go fish off a dock or a pier, it can be hard to find a spot. Another con down here is HOA living. Ocean Pines is one of the largest HOAs on the eastern shore. There's a lot of HOAs down here too, so uh, there's pros and cons to every HOA. Um, I'm not going to get into it too much on Ocean Pines. If you're interested in it, just put a comment in and I'll try to answer as best I can. But um, uh, pretty much we live right on top of each other in Ocean Pines. The houses are really close to each other. Um, for us, we're kind of lucky because we have on our street is a lot of summer rentals. So like our neighbors, they rent their house out. So in the summer, we get uh, a weekly turnover of new people. Um, that, you know, when the summer people are here, they don't really stay in the house. They're always out, out here doing this stuff. So... Uh, we don't really see them too much, which is good. It, it kind of makes it quiet for us. Now, another one I did want to bring up, um, sort of about living here in this area. It's, I'm trying to think of how to put it. We, we live here and we still have to work. We still have to pay our bills and all that stuff. The, 
problem is a lot of our friends and family when they come down or um, and they they take a vacation they want to spend a week two weeks or maybe the summer here or whatever um, they're always saying like oh you live at the beach you know it's it's pretty much that if they if they come down and they're on vacation it doesn't mean that we are too uh, we still have to we still have to work we still have to go to work we still have to to do the things that we normally do uh, but we don't get that time off when they do so uh, that's another thing where it's not a non-stop party here and um, all that we still have to pay our bills we still have to work uh, so just because they're here on vacation doesn't mean that we are um, but we do try to take time off when we can to uh, to hang out with them and see them and all that so um, summertime especially because no school for the kids and all that so um, but yeah try to try to do the best we can trying to navigate you know what we have to do and spend time with friends and family uh, as far as that goes there's ones that are pros and cons um, kind of difficult I guess some people think it could be a pro or it could be a con but uh, down here it's slower pace uh, compared to the cities and all that where it's very fast pace um, I had no problem with it at all whatsoever uh, but I know that Ashley did um, she, it was too slow for her at first she had to get used to it um, another thing that we had to get used to too was when we moved here we um, we had a very hard time for a little while um, with it just the, the mentality of living here where we're pretty much living where people vacation and it was uh, it was sort of an adjustment for us with just having two kids and moving here and packing up and selling our other house and everything else where it was almost like we were doing something that we honestly like we shouldn't be doing it was uh, almost like uh, I don't know like we were being selfish or it was really hard to deal with for me it took about like six months maybe a year before I started to realize like okay yeah this is home um, for Ashley it took I think she was saying it took like uh, to almost two years so it was very different because like I said you you live where people vacation and um, people spend their money to come down here on vacation they want to be here and uh, we're five miles away so uh, but after that things are good now it's I mean it's totally normal for us now so uh, but yeah that was one one adjustment that we we had a really hard time with what is this guy doing uh, another could be pro could be con it's small town down here everybody knows everybody uh, with the kids in sports they you get to meet other families and learn um, you know meet other families uh, restaurants and restaurant owners and your friends in the area and all that you sort of realize that it's it may seem like a big area but it's a very small community and everybody knows everybody um, if you ask me a name of do you know so-and-so I may not but I bet you I have a friend that does uh, that's how small it is so um, it's uh, yeah it's very very small town doesn't seem like it but it is other con for here is uh, seasonal businesses if you're used to a business that's always open every, every day, all year round, all that, uh, down here it's not. A lot of businesses are seasonal or they have seasonal hours where they're switching, uh, which can be difficult at times to try to uh, make sure like you have the things you need or to go places you want to go. Uh, another one is the seasonal population. I know that some people do have uh, a tough time with it where Ocean City, there's so many people here in the summertime, and then in the wintertime, it's dead. Like, dead, dead. Uh, I've gone out to Assateague on the win in the winter, driven out on the beach. I've been the only one there. Uh, Ashley and I have walked the boardwalk in February during, like, the weekdays. We're the only ones there. So, it, it can be extremely quiet. Ocean Pines, like I said, a lot of those people are gone. So, we don't really see... Um, there's still people around, but it's not as crazy as it is in the summer. So I know a lot of people kind of get that cabin fever type of thing. Um, if, if they're not around like other people a lot. For us, it's not really a big deal because we're out in the summertime all the time. We're always doing stuff outside. And then winter, we kind of relax, take it easy, and then uh, can't wait for summer and then go back out in the summertime. So that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's we love living down here. 
we know that it's not for everybody. We've seen people come and go and uh, I know people that have been here for a while, but uh, for us, it fits in our lifestyle. It fits like the things that we like to do and the kids love it here. I was asking them this morning what their favorite part of living here is. They said the beach and all the things to do, mini golf and all the activities that they get to do. But uh, yeah, it, it works for us. We love it. Uh, if you have any questions on anything, just let me know. Uh, you can comment down below. If you're looking to move here, or you're thinking about moving here or anything, just um, you can send me an email if you want. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, if, if it's something like a specific question, just real quick, just put it in the comments. I'll answer it as best I can. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully it kind of kind of shows you a different side of Ocean City. So, all right, I'll uh, see you on the next video.